uh, just sort of way that you want that you perhaps want to do it to do this is that you probably would want to like say make these nations um, uh, your your vessels rather than say annexing them because it's um, it's much more cheaper is one thing. So right, we want to try to do that, and what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to designate both of these say um, provinces as vessels, and that'll effectively take them under our control, but we won't have say total control of them. Um, till later on and that'll of course be cheaper and overall just better so do that and that'll effectively make their territories somewhat ours like that now unfortunately that's going to cost us a few points in diplomatic relations just due to the fact that that means we'll have to manage more diplomatic ties than we than we are capable of managing so with that said um, we will we'll have to deal with that later on as well, but for now it should be fine. The main thing is that you can absorb these uh, these vessels after say ten or so years, so it's not say that big of an issue here. Right. So moving forwards, it looks like we finished off two of our rivals in just sort of one sweep. So at least that's good. So we'll designate a few more as our rivals. Let's do Brunswick over here, and let's do uh, Lunenburg, which is which unfortunately has a very high opinion of us. But as you see here, um, the Denmark army, despite being like very big, or the despite having a lot of land mass, it's actually only four times bigger. And even at that, we control a bigger fleet as well. Ooh, and this is interesting. The, uh, the the people of Denmark and the people of Sweden are fighting each other, although I believe, yeah, uh, they, they recently had a had a new king here in Sweden. Some of the uh, more attentive and more veteran players may have noticed that Denmark over here and Sweden um, start off inside a personal union, meaning that they're led by the same king. And with that said, it looks like uh, Sweden has broke free here and is now at war with Denmark, so that's very, very interesting. One of the things that allows us to do is that we might be able to take advantage of this uh, just sort of war. And we might be able to, say, nab a few territories off of the uh, the people of Denmark over here by fabricating a few claims here and there. So that's, um, that is one big thing there. Right, so that'll be that. And perfect, it looks like some people actually broke off their alliances with us, so that'll help us out on the diplomatic front. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Ooh, and we're getting a train dispute, uh, Cousis Belli against Pomerania, so that's also good. Now, this was a bit of an oversight on my part. Uh, the game actually doesn't consider vesselizing, say, some of the provinces that you want to take here, like such, so unfortunately, it'll be a bit of time since, um, till we complete this mission, but either way, I mean, technically, we finished it, and overall, I mean, the rewards, say, aren't that great. In the meantime, I think we'll leave off the first, say, episode here. And, you know, be sure to like and subscribe, as always. And, uh, well, when we return, I think we'll do some plotting. I'll just really check out, say, whether or not we can press into Denmark here or Pomerania. So, I'll see you guys uh, hopefully then.